What is going on guys? Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and today I want to speak about returning Destiny 1 exotics in Destiny 2 and I can tell you guys that I've spotted yet another Destiny 1 exotic within Destiny 2 but before we go any further guys I am giving away our Rockstar Destiny 2 in-game exclusive gear code to win one simply drop a like on the video and leave a comment. Okay, so this subject is a little touchy when we talk about Destiny 1 items returning in Destiny 2. While the inclusion of Destiny 1 exotics in Destiny 2 is something a lot of people don't want to see, mostly due to the fact that this, well, should be a new game with fresh new content, including new exotics, which is a fair point. Others, including myself, don't mind the inclusion of Destiny 1 exotics, as in reality they add to the game. Plus there are many great exotics within Destiny 1 which I will miss using but if they are available for us to obtain somehow in Destiny 2 that's great in my opinion as long as the intent for them is not for us to actually have to seriously grind for a game whereas they are taking a place in the game where a new exotic should have been instead substituted until a later date or later DLC and all the exotics put in their place as in my opinion that is a big no no and something we don't want to see. Old exotics should not be taking the place of new exotics, it's as simple as that. These exotics should be and need to be relatively easy for us to obtain and to be honest I'd even be happy if they were just a toned down version with the same look. Now I have uploaded a video which I believe explained exactly how these old exotics are obtained and to be honest it does make sense. I talk about prestigious rewards obtainable via lost sectors and flashpoint activities which are a weekly occurrence. The video if you want to watch it will be linked within the video description. Okay so what exotics do we know that are definitely returning? Well the first one spotted from a Destiny 2 gameplay trailer was the Warlock Starfire Protocol that also underused chess piece. There is absolutely no denying that this is that Destiny 1 exotic, well exact in design style anyway. We then saw the Titans taking out helmet, the Spaceman helmet, again pretty clear that this is that very helmet, plus the fact Bungie try and give it away when his Titan seen using a rocket launcher. Now the third exotic which was seen during a leaked video yesterday is on screen right here right now. Clearly people those are the Titan exotic gauntlets known as the ACD slash zero feedback fence. So. Three exotics from Destiny 1 have been spotted in Destiny 2 so far. It's clear some, if not all, are making a return. So the three we know about the Starfire, it offers the perk which allows you to carry an additional fusion grenade charge, the take note, all rocket launchers gain tracking, a visible radar while zooming with heavy weapons, and heavy ammo drops more often, and feedback fence, taking damage from a melee attack deals damage in an area around you. And that was their purpose within Destiny 1, who's to say it won't be the same or as close as within Destiny 2. The only problem is Bungie are being as tight lipped about this as they are about a lot of other things that they want us to find out upon launch, which I actually respect. But it's undeniable people, Destiny 1 exotics will be returning to Destiny 2. Their purpose and that which they offer is not yet known though. And on that note guys, if you could pick one Destiny 1 exotic to return in Destiny 2, what would it be? Let me know down below within that comment section. Thanks as always for stopping by. If you're new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. If you never want to miss a video I upload, hit that bell button next to that subscribe button to receive email notifications. Again, thanks for stopping by and I will see you on that next one. Always in the